everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. Today we'll be doing our weekly budget, paycheck to paycheck for some, weekly budget for me. If that is something that you're interested in, please stay tuned. Okay, you guys, let's hop right on in. So, of course, we're going to do last week's overview. Y'all, last week was interesting. Remember, we talked about getting our, well, my um, income taxes. Well, we did. We got it. Now, you'll see here, I whited it out. You probably can still see what it was. But I changed my mind about sharing that because I learned, not a valuable lesson because I know this lesson, but, you know, you're just shocked to see certain things from certain people. But I only shared the amount with a certain amount of people. And then all of a sudden, people started feeling like I had extra that I wouldn't miss money. So I was a little disturbed by that last week. But nonetheless, I got a lot of things paid, you guys. Um, I don't know whether to do a separate video on what I spent my taxes on. But it's real simple to tell you what I did. I gave, I paid off three credit cards. Y'all, excuse my nails. They're not dirty. I just have color on them. I paid off three credit cards. Every other credit card got $100 or more. Um, so let's do the quick rundown. And I ended up, my weekly goal, I say $750. But I have been writing down, this video may be a little long. I have been writing down as my goal for the week in my planner, where I keep my appointments is to make $1,200. That's what I've been writing as my goal for the past month or so. And y'all, we hit it. We hit it last week. So we made $1,250, excuse me, $1,250 on top of getting my taxes. <laughs> y'all, I, I told one of my friends, I said I feel like a thousand here, okay? I felt like a thousand here. <laughs> I felt like a thousandaire. If that was a such thing, I was a thousandaire last week. Nonetheless, only made 30 in nails and Norris Cove made 45. And so here I rounded out the total at 38.90. Yes, we were a little above that. That's all good. The first thing I did, you guys, was I threw 500 into my emergency fund. I know I said I was going to do a thousand. I still can, but I ended up later adding 200 more dollars. So making it $700 in my emergency fund, have not touched it, okay? Too excited. Again, I gave every credit card $100. Capital One, um, it wasn't due, but I went ahead and paid them um, $125. Citibank got 100 Barclays, I wanted to give them five. I ended up giving them 200 because now that I've paid off those other smaller cards, I'll be um, putting money extra to Barclays. Car note, the half a car note got paid. Car insurance, this was from last month that I'm behind in. It got paid, but I have another one coming on the 28th, which is next week, but that will be reflected in this week's budget. I'll explain that later. Um, booth rent got paid, so 50 T-Mobile. I've paid them, I end up giving them two of these. Let me put times two. Because I have a payment arrangement that was a payment arrangement, so I was glad to have it that it came out. But then I have another arrangement for like the first or the, something like that. But then it said your bill is due on the 21st of 284. So I went ahead and paid that another 284. The reason I did that on the 21st is so that I won't get any more late fees. One of the main reasons my T Mobile is late is because, I mean, my T Mobile is high is because it's always late. So I wanted to, when I had it, go ahead and pay that. So we averaged at around $1,600 in bills that we paid. And I ended up, I think I was at around 17, maybe more than that in what I paid in everything. Um, but no, that's about writing bills. And then again, I put the T-Mobile, uh, let's see what else. I did put that extra, instead of 100, I put an extra 284. Um, emergency fund got 700. I, savings, I didn't put a, I did. I think this is the extra part of the extra 200. So pretty much 200 of that is for my regular savings. So, and what else did we do? I gave my husband 300 to help out with some small bills. And the only reason I didn't do the five is because I had to help baby girl out. My daughter who's in college, um, she's like in between jobs. So we had to get her flight tickets. That was with her. She got like 400. That was with her flight tickets. Uh, money for some things that she needs to take care of for her dog, things like that, because the dog will be staying with me coming this month, only for 30 days. So I had to give a little bit more to her. And that supposedly left us with 867. And that's kind of where I've been lingering, but I really don't know, because like I said, 
this week was so good. So I don't know if I kept my pay. So y'all, I'm so excited because I'm ahead. Finally, I'm ahead and I want to stay ahead. So just like Capital One sent me a notice today saying I have a bill due. And I'm like, well, it's not due to April 15th. I'm like, as much money as I just gave y'all, I shouldn't have a bill due, but fine. So I sent them $50. So here we are this week. I hate that I kind of messed this up, y'all, because I was testing out some um, pins. And let's see. I hate to throw it away. <sighs> I don't like it. I'm sorry. We'll just start another page. It's not like I don't make them. I can print <laughs> as many as I like. So we're going to move that over. And let's get out a monthly as well. Okay, so I'm looking at my monthly, and we are... Gonna be the 21st through the 27th. Nothing's really due. Oh, I had a firm, but a firm has been paid in full. Wayfair paid in full. I paid them off. Um, so what I'm gonna do, this little extra money, which is very small amounts, I'm gonna add them to my car insurance, and I'm gonna pay my car insurance this week. Um, since we still have a little extra left from last week, whatever, whether it was income or whether it was the taxes. Um, and that's pretty much all that we have. We pay T-Mobile. Let me put them here. And that's really much all I have. So I've, of course, written another, y'all, I have budgeting everywhere so that I can stay ahead. So this is my finance section of my everyday planner. Y'all, this is what I paid last week. This is gray means bills. Red is food. So between food and bills, I was in planner stuff. I was balling. Okay. So, um, yeah. And then blue is family. So that's where I gave Azel, my husband, some money, my sister, some money for my niece's baby shower. I did help out with that. And yeah. So as you can see, I just paid, 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 paid. So nonetheless, let's get to, like I said, it's going to be long because that's pretty much what I do with my tax money. I don't think I need to do a, um, a video on it, but I will. And also, I said I was going to do some for cash envelopes. I do have some left for cash envelopes. I wanted to do it Saturday, but I think I'm just going to wait till next week because um, I'll be out of town this weekend. So I'm going to take one of my new um, highlighter tumble pins. Let's use that. We want to stay in the green. Well, I will not be putting down that I'm making 1200 this week. I wished. So this week, actually, I put in my other planner that I'd probably make 700 because it's such a low week. And that's okay. I'll use 700 And then for nails, I have a client tomorrow. I'm going to put 30 I don't think they heard me when I said 35 because I did say 30 to 35. So whatever. Norris Cove. I do have some new releases coming this week. It just depends on how everyone pays. I'll put 50. And then I'll just put miscellaneous just in case I sell anything or whatever. Um, just in case. We just never know. And this is March 21st through the 27th. And then, so over here I have T-Mobile. I've already paid them because I did pay that this week. Um, I'll just put the 21st. But I'm really kind of paying it out of the other money. It doesn't matter, though. So I didn't, wasn't for sure if I should put that there, but I'm still put it just in case. PayPal. Um, I'm going to pay PayPal. Even though I gave them that 100 I'm not due for a bill. But again, I want to stay ahead and I want to stay on a schedule. And I want to, um, again, like I said, be ahead, but I want to get it paid off as well. So I have PayPal down for 50 And now I'm going to ahead and put, what was today? Today's the 22nd. I'm going to put Capital One. They'll probably come out on the 25th. But I'm going to put Capital One down and I gave them 50 Y'all, it feels so good to be ahead. I just, you just don't understand. It feels so good to be ahead. I just don't like bills lingering and owing people and things like that. I mean, I need to be able to sleep at night. And if you, I don't know about anybody else, but I can't sleep without 
I have a ton of bills. So booth rent is two fifty, and I thought that was gonna be a bit much for me, but I'm managing it even before the taxes and what have you. Um, car insurance, I'm putting the twenty seventh um, because I'll be out of town this weekend. But the twenty seventh is Sunday. Monday, the twenty eighth, my car insurance is due. I'm just going to pay it or I can leave it in my account actually and it'll be there. Um, so maybe I shouldn't put that down because it will be next week. I was just going to go ahead and pay it to get it out the way, but I'll let it sit there. So we'll, we'll take that out. So let's see how much. No, and I feel like something else is coming out, but I'll make a note of it. So we're a little low this week. Let's see what we have. A total of 634. You guys, I just thought of something. Because um, car insurance, that's why I was down. Because it's due on Monday and like I don't have any clients Monday, I will be using whatever is left of this week to pay for it, it don't have to sit in the bank. It makes sense to put it down. I mean, sometimes I have to, it takes a minute to kind of register to me. So, um, car insurance. And I definitely want to get back ahead. I could always use it, but I used to, could always pay it on time. I don't know what, I think COVID, when I caught COVID, it kind of threw me behind. And I don't know, but we're, we're back in the game. So, yeah. So let's add that 2062. So that's eight. Oh Lord. Yoshida, you know the number. It's 1044. Let's see. 840. Where did I get 40 from? $840 is the total for the week. I didn't add up this. So we have 700 and eighty dollars here but i'm gonna take to make this work i'm just gonna take a hundred from my cushion not my um emergency fund but i also i left a little cushion i'm not saying how much but i left a little cushion in my bank account so that will take care of the hundred that i'm slacking okay so that would be nine hundred and eighty dollars so we're just right about where it's supposed to be. Um, I am going to build up on sinking funds. I just want to get, like, again, ahead of my bills, especially, like, the car insurance because I was behind in that. And then um, once, like, the money kind of dwindles down from my buffer, because I, that's what I'm talking about, a buffer. The buffer in my bank account is what's that $100 is going to come from. But once the buffer gets a little low, I'll start back taking my tips and that will be my cash envelopes because that worked for me last year until I think everything, I don't know what happened, but things just started to decline. So I'm going to put this sheet, I marked out, let me put it back. I don't know that it's back. Um, I'm going to put this back in and then that's our weekly budget, you guys. Not a whole lot going on, not a whole lot of fluff. But, um, yeah, this is a obtainable for me. Like I said, the T-Mobile got paid this week. So, um, that's already paid for. PayPal. Which one of these did I use to smart that out? PayPal. And I've already paid. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out these markers. I've already paid Capital One. So, I'll pay PayPal. And get that out the way. And this is my total. I just want to use my new highlighters. And they are so pretty. Okay, so this is all we have for this week. It's kind of a light week. But thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for taxes. So let's pop this in. So I guess I need to print off some more paychecks to paychecks. Um, also, if you are interested in this um, insert right here, you can find it in my shop. It is the link below, www.noriscove.com. We also have um, other type of monthly budgets 
this is one of our originals here and this is basically just your monthly expenses you just write them out you know and your monthly budget breakdown here as well and there's other stuff in there plain paper writing paper all kinds of things that you can download for your planner or your notebook so thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you have any questions just leave them below in the comment section and i'll get back with you also thank you all again so much for commenting and letting me know what you're doing with your finances and how you plan to spend your tax money i really appreciated that engagement because it's different for everyone um like i said years ago i would have never probably took my taxes and paid bills i just probably would have balled out but um now i'm adulting and adulting better and i didn't use all of my taxes on um bills but i did treat myself so you have to treat yourself as well so again thank you so much i will talk to you guys in my next video have a good day bye